Hi guys, and welcome back to the Friday Gear Show. Today, I'll be reviewing the latest release by Californian biking and climbing brand Unparallel. This is the Soup Top. It's being marketed as a high performance climbing shoe, and it's meant to keep up with this new modern dynamic style of climbing. So let's see what this is all about. I mean, just look at it. It has all the features of a high-end bouldering shoe, an aggressive downturn, a gigantic toe patch, the split midsole, and it's so, 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 so soft. So I was obviously so excited to try it out, but before giving you my opinion, roll on the climbing montage where I'll be giving you all the tech specs. The soup top has an aggressive downturn fit with a split sole for flexibility when climbing gets overhanging. This allows the climber's foot to bend as well as allowing them to advance hill hooking moves. They have a big soft padded tongue, which is cut in two, so it allows the foot to slip in easily. The fabric on the tongue is Aripran, which is a synthetic foam fabric designed to feel like second skin. It's hypoallergenic and it dries quickly. Amparel produced their own formula rubber. The soup top uses a combination of RS, Real Supreme, and RH, Real Honor, on the outsole. This creates an ultra sticky, very soft sole with the RH compound adding more durability than the RS would by itself. With 3.5 millimeters of rubber, it allows the climber to feel every ripple of rock or texture of the plastic. And the big toe patch is made of VD, Virtual Density Rubber. Thanks to all this rubber, the soup top is set perfectly for smearing, grabbing and hooking, leaving edging duties to unparalleled stiffer shoes, such as the flagship. So, since I'm a modern climber, I gotta say I really enjoyed testing the shoe out in gyms. It's actually really, really soft. And that's saying a lot, cause like, I'm definitely on the lighter end of climbers and it's the first shoe I've tried that uh, I can honestly call it a super soft shoe and I can really feel everything while smearing and standing on volumes. And it being so soft, it also makes me feel really secure on these big volumes. The downturn shape of the shoe was definitely a bit intimidating at first. And on the first session, I actually got foot cramps and all of that jazz, but it all quickly went away. It took me one session to break them in and uh, I gotta say I have a pretty normal foot if there's such a thing. I've got like a Greek shape and quite a good downturn. So I don't really feel the need to like downsize a lot the shoes, but these were actually like a sample size. So they only had them in size 37. I'm actually a size 36. Since they are so soft and they do feel like a sock, I would actually get them my street shoe size. But as usual for unparalleled shoes, we recommend you getting your street shoe size or if you want a real performance fit, you can get half a size down. And with these half a size down, I'm pretty sure it's appropriate. Out of the unparalleled shoes I've tried, this one is the easiest to slip on and off. And that's because of this split tongue that it looks like cat ears. But yeah, it just opens up the shoe so well and it's so easy during a gym session to just take them on and off, even though that's not really necessary because they are pretty comfortable. But I've never seen a feature like this before, maybe a bit in the La Sportiva shoes, like on the No Edge Futura. And uh, speaking about No Edge and No Edge technology, this kind of feels like a no edge climbing shoe, even though it does have an edge. But I'm saying that, I guess, because it again testifies how soft they are. And because of that, it wraps around your foot and it gives that no edge, easy climbing feel, um, if that's a thing. Let's move on to the heel. So it doesn't have any big flashy, feature or gimmicky thing on it. It's simply made of two pieces of rubber, a thinner one down here, and on top a thicker strip of rubber. And you see the step between the rubbers? It's actually quite handy when heel hooking because it can get caught on like holds. 
indoors or outdoors, it just like gets caught on the features of the holds and it makes the heel hook more secure. Moving on to my favorite part of the shoe, the gigantic toe patch. And I gotta say, I'm not like a fan of like toe hooking because I'm not that good at it. Neither do I usually trust what I'm on or what I'm hooking on, but the rubber, this BD rubber on it, it's so soft and it's, there's so much of it that even when you're like blind hooking, you can really feel what you're pulling on. Uh, so because of that, uh, in gyms, yeah, I've been like toe hooking more and even on those like blind moves, I know it's gonna stick because there is so much of it. Let's talk about the point of the shoe, which is not really pointy. It's a bit of a rounded shape. However, with the shoe being so downturn and the design just pushing your foot forwards, it's not that you need a pointy toe, or well, I realize I don't really need a pointy toe to be precise and put power down. You just need to like trust your foot movements. So, you know, good luck with that. As for climbing outdoors, I think the shoe would definitely suit some rock types better than others. For example, on big features like Tufas, amazing, amazing shoe. If I'm going to font and I know I need to smear a lot and trust the shoe for that, I'll definitely take it. And also for those big pockets where you need to put your foot in there and like toe hook, heel hook, just play your, with your foot in a malleable way, uh, this shoe would be a great addition. In conclusion, what do I think about this shoe? Well, it would be a great addition to anybody who's looking for a high performance shoe to use indoors. I'll definitely put it in my gym bag and uh, I'll keep using it, especially if I know I'm going on a trip to Greece, climbing on tufas or deep water soloing this summer, I'll definitely take this shoe because it's nice and soft, comfortable. It can stay on for a whole gym session, so this is part of my kit. The elephant in the room is the price. Currently, they're $175. Now, that's uh, a lot. It's a lot for a climbing shoe and it's definitely on the higher end of climbing shoes. However, they are made in California with the best materials and they have true quality control over them. In my experience of wearing in parallel shoes, I know they're quite long lasting and they're really well made. Hopefully you'll have seen that as well in this video. Now, we have them on the Epic TV shop. So all the links to that down below. Let me know if you're picking one up and guys, thank you so much for watching.